Hi everyone, it's Roger here from what's on DisneyPlus.com. A quick video review of the new Disney Plus original series, The Magic of Animal Kingdom. But before we go any further, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. So Disney is bringing a brand new series to Disney Plus on Friday, September the 25th. This new documentary created by National Geographic goes for eight episodes with new episodes dropping weekly. So this will be running right through to November. Now I have watched the whole season and I'm going to be honest, I really enjoyed it. Now if you like Secrets of the Zoo, which is another big National Geographic show, you're going to love this one here because it is essentially Secrets of the Zoo Animal Kingdom edition. And we get to see lots of different characters in terms of animals and the different attractions that they're in on the attractions but the exhibits that you find them in at the animal kingdom if for example you get the safari where you can drive around and stuff and each episode focuses on two or three of these different animals jumping around a little bit in terms of the big ones the little ones ones you maybe don't know about quite so well and if you're a big fan of theme parks like me and i'm sure there's so many people that have been to the animal kingdom because it's one of the uh, most popular theme parks in the world a lot of people are going to be watching this and want to know a little bit more and i think as a whole it really does hit that you know it's a straight up normal documentary each episode is about 30 minutes 35 minutes and focusing on different things obviously no adverts or anything like that so that's always a good bonus the only thing that um personally i was not so keen on was um josh gad is the narrator for the series and while he's He's not as bad as I was expecting it to be because maybe I, my expectations were more along the lines of Disney nature. It wasn't quite like that. It was, I just found with him being the voice of Olaf from Frozen, I kind of quite often felt like, you know, it was aimed at children a little bit more than maybe like an adult. If they had somebody else completely doing it, it would have seen more adult friendly and it's it's not childish you know his dad but sometimes when he says stuff you kind of feel like it's all fluffy and i know that's the disney way but from a animal documentary i kind of want something a little bit more serious um so it's going to be um hit and miss of whether or not that connects with you or not um it's not it's not dreadful i mean that was the thing i did go into it of thinking is it going to be like really like disney naturey where it's kind of pandering to children it's not like that but occasionally it can kind of sound um, to me but then that's also a big difference again internationally of for example here in the uk when we have uh documentaries that generally aimed more at everybody rather than um, disney ones which are a little bit sometimes kidified and you know that's the thing this series if you put a completely different narrator on it with a serious voice it could be yeah it would be very different but overall I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a top quality show. This is a show that can probably run for a number of years because it just makes sense from Disney to make it. You know, they own this theme park with animals in it and they have animal, you know, these different shows that National Geographic make, you know, rather than making Secret of the Zoo at other zoos, why not do one at their own place? So it makes a lot of sense. I think Disney park fans are going to love this series. You're going to love getting to know the different characters. There are some scenes which um kind of are pretty yucky there was this one scene with a manatee and it had an abscess and so they had to like, poke it and then they like syringe and it was piling everywhere really gross um i mean my wife loves watching the pimple popper show and things like that so she would love that but i was like oh that's awful but there isn't really anything like blood or anything like that you'd see when they do um go to the vets and do work on it they keep it very very um nice and clean i think the abscess one is just the fact that it's just quite funny just seeing it exploding all over the place but um i really enjoyed when they sort of in the in the water with the different animals um that you see in epcot you just know to kind of go over there and do a few things with them and just seeing the different exhibits and the different animals and seeing how the safari works and yeah if you love animal kingdom you're gonna love this series it is very well made um, like i said josh gad while I wasn't so keen on the way he did it, I still think he did a, a, a good job. It's definitely enjoyable. You're going to be able to watch this series week to week. And yeah, it's just a really good show. So I'm going to give this one four out of five. A very, like I said, a top quality Disney Plus documentary. I think when you bring Disney and National Geographic together to make this, you really can't go too wrong with it. And I'm sure it's going to be a highlight for a lot of people. So definitely start checking that one out. When the first episode drops on Disney Plus on Friday the 25th of September. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you let me know in the comments below if you watch this new series. Love to hear your thoughts. Go and subscribe and I shall see you guys in another video. Later.